Hey guys, so what we're gonna do right now is break down the acronym PENMAM. First thing we need to establish why we would use PENMAM, and that's how, or the acronym that we use in order to help us with our scene size up. So we need to make sure that our scene is safe, that we're able to go into it and addressing any needs or any problems in the scene. So PENMAM itself means personal and personnel safety, environmental hazards, number of patients, mechanism of injury and or nature of illness, additional resources, and any need for extrication. So for personal and personal safety, that's to make sure that we are safe to go into the scene. We have all of our protective equipment. We have gloves, gowns, masks, eye pro. Our apparatus is in a safe location to where we're not gonna be hit or harmed by anything, um, and we're safe to enter, okay? Environmental hazards, that's anything in the environment that can hurt or kill us. That's going to be any down trees, large bodies of water, electrical lines, any animals or potential human threats as well. You have your number of patients. We need to establish how many patients we have in order to figure out how we can treat them in the best way possible. You have your mechanism of injury and your nature of illness. Your mechanism of injury is going to be a how someone got hurt. So whether that's they crashed their car, they crashed their motorcycle, they fell from a tree or from a roof, um, whether they were shot or stabbed or assaulted by other people, um, that's going to be your mechanism of injury versus your nature of illness. This is going to be the general reason why someone called us out for uh, an assessment. Whether that's chest pain, shortness of breath, nausea, vomiting, dizziness, abdominal pain. And we have our additional resources. This is going to be all of the people that we might need to call into the scene in order to help us with our objective. So that could be law enforcement, it could be fire, it could be ALS resources, it could be gas or electric or water companies, or even air assets and animal control, if that's, for, if that's what is required or needed for us. And then we have need for extrication and C-spine. This could be as simple as moving someone who fell between the toilet and a bathtub and removing them from there into the bathroom so it can work for them or it could be as large as using hydraulic and e-tools to cut them out of a vehicle that they're entrapped in. And then any need for C-spine. This is if we're suspecting any head, neck, or back pain or potential neck injuries to the C-spine, we're gonna delegate to a partner and place these patients in C-spine.